everyone. Welcome back to Our Bucks with Rio. Here's another YouTube video on the location for Knapp House, which is in North Devon. So a little bit of history with this place. Knapp House Activity Centre was a family-run business and it was established in 1982 and has been owned and managed by the Clemente family since around 1979. The house is surrounded by 60 acres of farmland, which encompasses gardens, woodlands and fields. It's situated between the villages of Appledore and Northam, near Budderford in North Devon. So you can see we're walking down the long driveway here. And you can see there's quite a lot of windows that are smashed out, boarded up, and graffiti. So, we just have a look around. We're not too sure if there's going to be any security on site. So we're a little bit hesitant, that's why we're looking around a lot. But this door kind of reminds me of a scene from The Walking Dead kind of scenario. But we've gone into the first building. As you can see, the roof is coming down from all the, like, rot, the bad weather. Um, but this area looks like it could have been, like, a bar area. Um, you can see all around the walls someone, in their infinite wisdom, has put uh, Bad Wolf. But I vaguely remember bit that being a uh, quote from... I can't remember now, but someone will be able to tell me. So, yeah, you can see all the smashed glass and... It's a little bit, it doesn't look great. The conditions are bad. Um, it, a lot of people have been in and, and trashed the area. But yeah, as we walk around more, we'll see that there's more graffiti. But this used to be an activity area where in a minute we'll see hopefully some pictures of what seem to be school people or people that came to have like a holiday here. What we also noticed, as you can see, there's loads of chairs been left here and um, just equipment that they've not got rid of. So obviously they just stacked it up in this room to get it out of the way. As we start moving around the rest of the place, we notice that there are a load of bunk beds. And again, you can see all the smashed windows. But as you come in here, loads of bunk beds duvets and pillows, all still here, all still trashed though. We do think that people had been sleeping rough here because there was a lot of duvets in an area and like paraphernalia for drug use and stuff. So we were lucky that when we visited this time that there was no one here. So we were careful just where we were stepping because as you'll see later in the video, there are loads of... Uh, blood splatter and um, that's not something we want to be touching. As I mentioned earlier with the blood you can see on this wall it's splattered all the way down the wall so someone's obviously cut themselves or injected themselves or done something and just spurted the, the blood all over the wall so we were like well, we don't want to touch that so we had to be really careful. Unfortunately it does go all the way down the staircase which is just crazy if there's a lot of blood drops. So we just had to be careful what we were doing. So if you come into this place, wear gloves, wear protective equipment to kind of not have any of this go on you. But aside from all the blood, the one thing that was quite key and stood out was this staircase. We'll get to the bottom in a second. Looks like people have been roughing it. But we'll pan around and we'll see the staircase in all its glory. I have a bit of a thing for staircases. Um, at the minute, it's not trashed. But that probably won't stay like that for a while. Or it won't, probably won't stay like that for long. Uh, as you can see, it's a nice, thick banister rail. It's really nice. You can always find some positiveness and greatness within these bad situations. The staircase will probably stay for a long time. So we're at the bottom of the uh, the grounds now. And it's all been boarded in, so it's, that's why it's dark. 
Um, there's just loads of stuff on the floor, loads of rubbish, loads of crap. And fireplace. As I mentioned earlier, it does seem like people had been roughing it here with all those uh, mattresses and stuff pulled together. This place was really big. There was loads of uh, hallways and different doors leading to different places. It's very easy to get lost and not know which way you started out in. And behind more doors is more and more door. More door! Behind more doors is uh, even more bunk beds. So. But you can see it's proper trashed. People like kicking things in and breaking sinks and toilets and stuff. You can see there the wall's pretty mouldy and damp and it's gone back to the original brick. It definitely did feel like a maze in here. But we just had to be careful with all the glass on the floor. But as we search through the rest of the building, it seems that we are coming up to a kind of sort of kitchen area and like a pantry sort of style area. It was a bit weird, this building, because, well, please wash your hands and please wear a face mask. Thank you, Mark. Yeah, so this kitchen had a really small hallway. Look, we're just going down it now. It's just really weird. If you didn't know that was there, you'd miss it. So in here is the uh, kitchen. And nothing ever in the freezer. So yeah, this little kitchen is just hidden. Like I said, you would miss it. See through the cubby hole. There's the, I guess, the eating area that everyone would sit in. We'll be going in there in a second. So we're entering, I'd say it's the eating hall, dining hall, whatever you want to call it. But in particular, there's two um, fireplaces on each end of the hall, which I thought was rather cool. You can see all the plastic cutlery, the trays that you put the foods on, all scattered all over the floor. Someone was having a party for sure, or just ragging it. Please, sir, can I have some more? More? It's a shame that the mirrors on both these fireplaces had been smashed. But I really liked the detail of the wood and the fireplaces. So there is a more sinister, tragic story to this place, uh, being the reason why it was closed in the first place. Uh, but we will be getting to that in a second. Again, this this whole room was full of plastic cups and stuff. It's a shame that they've been 
thrown in there because they could have been used for something better. Again, more blood splatter on the walls. It was completely covering this whole room. It was just everywhere. So we were just trying to be careful. Multiple windows were smashed. And, and you can see in the background there, that's where the swimming pool is. And that's where our story continues of what happens to the demise of this place. So we're just heading out now. So we've just come round to the back of the building. And you can see, looking back on the building, it is quite a big building. It's just tragic to see all the glass smashed and all the boards being boarded up, the, win the windows being boarded up. But we slowly make our way down to the swimming pool. And the story that goes with this is tragically a boy was playing here and um, unfortunately drowned. I mean, that's all I can really say about this, but I do know that this tragedy did, it did come out that Nap House was being closed because of this incident. whilst exploring the swimming pool it did feel a little bit eerie knowing that something so tragic had happened here it wasn't that long before this explore that I had seen on another YouTube video that the water was in the pool so it's been drained somehow and back here is like a boiler room Toilets were down here and uh, changing rooms. Here's a better picture of the swimming pool. Once out of there, we come further down towards the back and there's what I think is um, football court slash table, a uh, tennis court, sorry. There's a ball there. Obviously, around this time, we had a quite a big storm, so it knocked that tree down. But everything is just left to grow. Nature is coming full force. There's even a, a babington net as well. But aside from all that, it was a good explore. Unfortunately, the circumstances aren't great. But if you do want to explore this location, I'd advise just be careful because there's a lot of glass. And, and blood. We did come across some arrow like head things so just be careful and uh, yeah thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share and we'll see you on the next explore. Thank you.